Hello? So why is it that we always focus on our external appearance? Why do we worry about the suits that we wear, the clothes, our haircut, if we're shaving or not, or if we don't shave, our meticulous beards or mustaches? Pigpen could care less. Charlie Brown is at him constantly. Man, will you take a shower, change yourself? And Pigpen, with confidence, says, why? It doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me. I'm confident, and hey, I'm healthy too. Leave me alone. So let's start thinking about what Pigpen has to say and stop worrying so much about external appearance and start really tuning in to what's going on inside. Being a president of the United States of America is tough. Being a resident of the United States of America is tough. <laughs> and being neighbors with us is also tough. But should our hair turn gray this fast? No. Obama started and his hair was decent looking. It was good. After four to eight years, it went from black to very mottled gray. No offense, Obama, it's a tough job. I get it, but we should not be graying this quickly. You know friends, family, perhaps yourselves, saying, God, you know what? That rings a bell. I saw my neighbor, my loved one, also struggled with gray hair, rapid onset. What is that? What is causing that? And that is a dirty gene. Dirty genes is what I say cause this. Your glutathione levels drop, your hair starts turning gray. David Beckham. David Beckham is one of the world's foremost soccer players in the world. And as a result, he exceeded, right? He succeeded very, very well in his sport. But did you know he struggled his entire career with asthma? Here he is hiding behind his coach, behind the bench, using an inhaler to try to keep him superhuman so he can continue performing on the pitch. Can you imagine how much better would David Beckham be as a footballer if he did not have asthma? How many more balls could he have gone after faster, harder, stronger? And how many more goals and assists could he have gotten? And could he, he would still be playing today if he did not have exercise-induced asthma or asthma in general. What is this? This is a result of dirty genes. His internal environment was dirty. His histamine levels were high. Dirty genes. What do I mean by dirty genes? What is that? First, we have to step back and say, you know, genes, are they static or are they dynamic? Genes are responding to us, our influence, the food that we put in our mouth, the food that we don't put in our mouth, our mindset, the environment that we're in, all has big plays on how our genes function. And they can function optimally, or they can underperform, or they can overperform and we want optimal. Underperformance isn't good, just like the bird covered in oil trying to fly. Your genes and your enzymes can get covered with oil and lack the ability to fly. Overactive, your genes can work too quickly, too hard, too fast, and deplete you of various precious resources. That's also not good. You can't control yourself. Now, what makes a dirty gene? How did we get here today? We drove, we flew, we took trains, we walked. Regardless, we were exposed to the environment. Regardless, we were exposed to carbon monoxide and chemicals in our air. Who has sat in an airplane and you're sitting there on the tarmac and all of a sudden, all that nasty air from the engine comes right in the cabin, into your nose, into your lungs, from your lungs, into your blood, from your blood, right into your brain. What happens? Headaches. Fatigue, irritability, sensitive to smells, and thank goodness the plane starts actually taking off and you don't smell that anymore. But what happens the next time? What happens when your neighbor to your right or left or you smell someone smoking a cigarette? You're more sensitive than you were before. Why? Because your genes were just bombarded with that jet fuel which used up precious resources which you then needed but you didn't have anymore. They got too dirty, and you didn't resupply them with what they needed. Also, the food that you eat, is it whole food or is it processed food? Synthetic nutrients aren't our friends. Our genes and enzymes want real, whole food. Our genes and enzymes use vitamins and minerals to work, not drugs. 
signs of a dirty gene. Any sign and symptom that you have as an individual, anything at all is a sign of a dirty gene. What can that be? Insomnia, headaches, irritability, anxiety, panic, depression, eczema, psoriasis, diarrhea, excuse me. Any of these things are a sign that your genes are not working properly. And I like to call them dirty. Personality types are fun to play with, right? I mean, so let's, let's go there. We are all born with a genetic susceptibility in terms of our personality, right? I mean, I'm pretty type A, I'm pretty driven. Think for a moment, what are you? Are you driven? Do you like to chill out and relax? Do you tend towards anxiety if someone goes like that and you startle easily? I mean, what, what is it with you? And it's not like you're set and you're defined, that's who you are. I'm just saying it's how you're susceptible and you tend to be. So you can tweak it and optimize that. If you're type A, you can push yourself too hard and collapse. And then your performance wanes. If you're irritable and insomniac, well, then you can push it too much to the extreme. If you're calm, cool, and collected all the time, then you're not going to perform at work and you're going to get fired. Or you're not going to have any desire to get up on the couch and you can tend towards depression and suicide. So none of those are ideal, but you can play with them and tweak them. Suarez. Suarez is an amazing striker. This guy gets the ball in the back of the net over and over again. He is one of the world's leading strikers on one of the world's leading football teams in the world. How does he do that? He's intense, he's driven, he's focused, he doesn't let defenders get on him, and he has to fight his way past them. That's his job, that's why he's good at it. But what happens when there's a really good defender who knows what he's trying to do and he prevents him from doing it? Suarez ups his game, he ups his intensity. But what happens when he has to up it even too much? He bites people. <laughs> I don't see that in the FIFA rules, but he bites. He's bitten three players, and he's been expelled from, the, from soccer for a number of games because of it, and the last World Cup was one of them. Do you think Suarez means to, like, grab their jersey and bite them? Well, yeah, I mean, he did it, but I'm sure he was quite apologetic, possibly, after, I hope. But regardless, we have those moments in our life where we have uncontrolled anger or frustration, do we not? What is that? That's a gene that is either underperforming in terms of removing those chemicals in our brain and allowing them to flood out faster than, you know, otherwise they're stuck there, right? It's too much. So we want to keep Suarez performing, but we don't want him <laughs> biting people. So there's a balance. There's a balance. Chad Marshall. I'm from Seattle, I have to include the Seattle Sounders, phenomenal team. Chad Marshall is voted three time recurrent defender of the year. How? He's consistent, he's consistent. No matter the game, no matter the season, no matter the temperature, no matter how far he travels, no matter what he ate, the guy can go out on the pitch and he performs. His coach says, I can count on Chad to go out there and get the job done for us every game. How? He is performing at a superhuman level. He is optimal every game. He's not biting people. He's not drawing red cards. He's not breaking shins. He's just a solid, good defender. That's what we want to be all the time. Now, my son... Tasman doesn't know I'm sharing this. He will later. <laughs> but he is the calm, cool, and collected guy. He's Mr. Social. He loves vibrant activities. He loves going out to plays and concerts, even though they're rap. And he loves interacting with his teammates. He loves team sports. But he came up to me one day after school and he goes, Dad, you know, I can't focus. I'm struggling in school. I don't like it. Why is that? And I was like, hmm, all right. Well, you know, I ran your genetic report and I evaluated that your genes are working really fast in terms of clearing out your dopamine. 
That's why you're a carb addict and you're driving towards high caloric, dense foods and you're sucking down the carbs. That's why you're a go-getter in terms of sports and you're an adrenaline junkie. That's why you pay more attention after I scream at you, not before. And so you struggle with these things. So how about we support your dopamine levels, even though you have a gene which processes out too quickly, and I can do that by, one, I want you eating more protein instead of carbs. Uh, second one is I can give you a pill. All right, what's that? Tyrosine. So he supplemented with tyrosine. After a week or two, he came back and he goes, you know what, Dad? That pill's really helping me out in school. That's it's really helping me. A teenage kid on his own incentive first told me he can't concentrate. Then on his own incentive, he told me that it's really helping him. So I said, okay, take this, put it in your bathroom, take when you need to, when you're not consuming enough protein for breakfast, which is almost always, and you will have more focus and attention. All right, good, good to go, I got it. Maybe a month, two, I don't know, some period of time goes by, he starts just getting on my nerves, his brother's nerve, his sh brother's shoes aren't perfectly placed at the door. And he kicks them, he freaks out, and he's like, will you put them away? And I'm screaming at him more, I'm yelling at him more, he's yelling at me. And a few weeks of this goes on, and I'm just done, I'm just done. So I've put my hat on for the doctor hat. I said, all right, Tasman, what's going on at school? What, what do you mean? Nothing. He's like, no, there's something going on. No, there's not. Girlfriend dump you? No. Uh, you got some other issues with your teachers? No. Are you flunking classes? No. Are you doing drugs? Dad! No! Oh, wait a minute. How much tyrosine are you taking? Oh, I don't know. Two, three, four, five capsules? It's like, oh, okay. Well, why are you doing that? Well, one helped me concentrate. Some more will help me concentrate better, right? No, no. We got to have that bell-shaped curve. I explained that to him. You're, cal you're calm, chill out. You're not able to focus. You take a tyrosine, you're optimal. You're Chad Marshall. You take too much, you're Suarez. Okay? And he's a soccer player and a damn good one. So we, let's not get you Suarez. Let's calm you down. Go back to one capsule and all will be good. That's where we are. Okay? Huh. Hopefully we stay that way. So what cleans your genes? So we have to supplement all the time? No. Supplements mean to add or enhance. That's what supplement means, to add or enhance. It doesn't mean to take every single day. It means to add or enhance. What really should we be doing every day? Eating properly, sleeping on time, deep sleep, track your sleep. Go out, hang out with your friends, do your hobbies. I'm type A, I'm driven, but I still have my hobbies. I go on vacation. Vacations, the movie, What About Bob? That's the best prescription ever. Take a vacation. So these things are what clean your genes ultimately. And supplements can add or enhance them as well. But it's not about you only. If we can clean your genes and get them optimally functioning, what happens when you conceive a child and that baby is in the womb of the future mother? And the baby is then born to a world where there's pollution, there's environmental toxins, there's mass amounts of vaccinations with full of thimerosal and aluminum, all these other nasty compounds in their new room where they're gonna come in with mattresses full of chemicals and processed foods waiting for them at school lunches. They'll be able to handle it. They'll be able to handle it more. Autism rates will go down. So let's begin to optimize ourselves first Listen to our genes, not concerned so much with what we're wearing, tune in to how we're feeling, and clean up our genes so we can support the next generation. Thank you.